All right, everyone, we have to start off today, of course, talking about Joe Biden's attack on cryptocurrency, but this was predictable. I said, I think two years ago was when Facebook started talking about wanting to make its own cryptocurrency. And at the time, it was almost immediately insinuated by the government. Now, this is after hundreds of corporations and comprising untold trillions in total wealth had climbed aboard with the idea of creating a cryptocurrency with Facebook. So the idea is it would be centrally issued, Facebook would be directly involved, and then all these companies would be accepting and utilizing it. Well, that's a giant chunk of the U.S. economy, and I believe there were also European and Asian companies in there as well huge number of them and not just within tech not just within like you know computing or banking uh, we're talking food manufacturers and everything else under the sun is enormous and the government almost immediately once it was announced and once they had this list of companies insinuated it would be a bad idea well we're not sure about this facebook crypto thing we're, th we're thinking that maybe you shouldn't be supporting Facebook in this move. With a wink and a nudge, all of Congress effectively told their donor class buddies, knock it the fuck off. And so half the companies immediately left, a bunch of others left after that, and then, of course, you didn't have enough companies working with them to justify the project, and it was scrap. At the time that happened, I made a video the next day, and I said that the government was going to eventually move to regulate the crypto market and or create a centralized singular cryptocurrency. It's moving to do both now. So to be clear, officially, obvious prediction is obvious. Link in the description archived, of course. Uh, they are attempting to do both. Biden is going to try to use the bureaucracy. So Congress can't do anything. They can't get up off their ass to get involved in anything meaningful right now. They're basically, at this point, just a rubber stamp for the normal neolib neocon crap, and anything else is shelved, so Congress is useless. Well, if you can't get a law going, then what's the next best thing? Well, Congress has previously authorized various bureaus to do things that the Constitution under other circumstances would not permit. To be clear, the problem in the United States is mainly bureaucratic in nature, at the federal level, with states that have nine-tenths of the actual laws and regulations and stuff. It's their legislatures and governors are just as bad. At the federal level, what's happened, though, is that over time we've created bureaus. Congress has, has authorized them and funded them. The bureau is repeatedly extended or extends itself, and then you have legal battles, and of course they have limitless funds to fight the legal battles, um, and they grow and they grow and they grow. They get larger, more of a proportion of the economy, more manpower, more powers in general, and then they do things like this. So effectively, Biden right now is admitting to people, I'm going to weaponize bureaus related to financial markets and regulation, related to law enforcement, related to everything under the sun, uh, fucking foreign investment and shit, and I'm going to try to get them to justify regulating cryptocurrency. Now, very importantly, I also said something else. If crypto is successfully regulated, it will actually be really great for people who hold crypto. It will be bad long term in the sense that crypto will no longer be a Wild West sort of thing. There will be no further use of it in like libertarian circles. But most people are not part of that fringe that actually cares about privacy and transactions or security or knows anything about blockchains, etc. Most people are soccer moms. Most people are boring nimbyists. Most people are somewhere in the center. They don't have strong opinions because they don't have strong minds. Virtually none of these people do anything with crypto because it's scary to them. Likewise, big corporations, a lot of them, they'd say, well... We could invest in crypto, but we consider this high risk. So a few of them dabble with it, but most of them don't. Most banks don't do crypto. Most companies don't do crypto. Most stores don't do crypto. Most people don't do crypto. It's like 5% of the potential market for crypto that's actually utilizing the cryptocurrency. This will justify all the other big corporations getting involved that don't want the high risk associated with it. The, the high rollers, they're fine. You know, they'll invest, oh, I just invested $10 million in Bitcoin or something. They'll be fine. Everyone else doesn't want that level of risk. Regulation reduces the risk, at least in the perceived manner in which it's regulated. That's the perception. It's not really a reality if you look at the Great Recession and other things of that nature. Of course, government regulation can cause more problems than it solves, usually does. 
but the perception is now it's a safer investment. Hey, it's kind of novel and we can do this digitally and you know we don't have to have this bank vault full of actual money because we can just get people to accept zeros and ones instead. Wow, yeah, we've saved money. We don't have to have a vault anymore or guards and shit. We just have to have a couple of nerds guarding it. People will start to buy in. That is the vast bulk of the public including people in the developing world, I'm sure, as the infrastructure branches out there through investment, um, the vast bulk of human beings will then accept, I think, crypto. This is a prediction. It's not necessarily true. It could be that it falls flat. The problem, of course, is that this is paired with an attempt to create a government standard cryptocurrency. Well, that's the whole that's the whole point that crypto wanted to get away from was that centralization and that uselessness. The fact that the government can manipulate the, uh, the currency at a whim, etc., etc., is the problem. I think it'll remain a problem with government crypto. But the only way in which this destroys crypto is if the government effectively outlaws the use of other cryptos. So they would say American citizens cannot use Monero, cannot use Bitcoin, cannot use Ethereum. They have to trade it in. They've got six months to do it or whatever. They'll trade it in even Stevens for the government crypto. In which case, I would just cash it out and use fiat because I'm not going to use government crypto. But I suspect that a lot of people would. It would effectively destroy crypto in the sense of its usefulness for what it's being used for. And here's how it's happening. They are doing the Marussia argument. This is exactly like security measures, etc. that happened after 9-11. Well, there's an existential risk to all of civilization because of a couple planes being hijacked. We have to and impose body scanners. We have to look through people's library records. We need to fast track spying on people without warrants. We need to do X, Y, and Z. It was sold to the public on the basis of if you oppose it, you're unpatriotic, which they're doing now with the Russia thing, number one. And it's an existential thing of na involving national security, number two. That's the exact argument that they're making for this as well. Well, Russia will get around our sanctions with crypto. Terrorists can use crypto. You've heard, you've heard uh, propaganda for years about human trafficking in crypto. A person would be absolutely nuts to use cryptocurrency and electronic transference for any form of significant crime. Drug sales, human trafficking, prostitution. You'd be nuts because you're leaving a data trail. I hate to tell you this, but the government can already monitor everything you're doing with regarding to crypto. So, um, so I mean, it would be nuts. So, yeah, you've got some low-end criminals with extremely low IQs. <laughs> they probably have a life of crime thing going on anyway because they don't, can't, they're not intelligent enough to have a meaningful job. Again, the law is like a spider's web. The flies are caught, the wasps go free. All the Epsteins of the world, they just use money. They just use actual cash delivered in paper bags and then laundered through uh, overseas groups. That's what they do. Load up the private jet with pallets of literal cash and go launder it in Thailand or the Cayman Islands or something. Um, most Joe Schmo criminals that are doing, you know, just selling a little bit of crack or something, uh, if they're dumb enough to use crypto, they deserve to go to jail anyway because they're obviously a menace to themselves and others. But the thing is, there is no existential crisis. Oh my God, Russia might delve into the use of cryptocurrency? Who cares? Literally, who gives a fucking shit? At this point, the government is punishing the entire Russian population for something that's probably not even that popular in Russia, which was the invasion of Ukraine, which is why that there are people willing to risk going to a gulag to protest the war effort by the thousands. Um, it, it's become hyperbolic and unnecessary at the topmost level. Do another video on the subject probably at some point. It's become a, a laughing stock what's being done to the Russian people actually at this time. You're effectively saying Joe, you know, average Joe Schmo Russian, Ivan or whatever, is not even capable of going to the fucking store. But it shouldn't surprise us they were doing that to the Western population for two years because of COVID. And <laughs> you weren't allowed to do that then either. Um, so, I mean, this is going to be a problem. It could destroy crypto. But my prediction is that it's much more likely not to do that. My prediction is that it's more likely to actually make crypto more valuable. It's just that it may eventually become totally centralized, so the actual usefulness of it will have passed at that point. You'd be better off using uh, actual cryptocurrency than any government-backed central crypto. If they're interchangeable, I can't imagine that that won't help boost the markets other than the government randomly creating cryptocurrency, which will have no actual tangible value. That's about all. Peace out.